Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn about fixed obligation to income ratio. So let's try to understand what is it, okay? So whenever you apply for a personal loan or any other loan facility from a bank, then bank will check certain eligibility criteria or parameters to identify whether you are able to repay that amount in future or not, okay? Because if those parameters is not validated, then there are chances that bank might incur losses due to non-repayment in future, right? So that's why they try to understand the background checks and other certain parameters they want to check and you will you have to go through all the checks, okay, before disbursement of loan. So fixed obligation to income ratio is also one of such parameters that bank will check. So whenever you apply for a personal loan, bank will check this kind of ratio too, okay? So on the basis of this ratio, bank can approve your loan or can reject your loan, okay? Now let's try to understand what is fixed obligation to income ratio. So it is the, we have to take a ratio of that, but for that we have to calculate fixed monthly obligations. What are fixed monthly obligations? Whatever you are paying monthly, like rent you have to pay, that is fixed, right? EMIs you are paying, that is fixed. So whatever you are paying, you have to add all the fixed monthly obligations, but you have to exclude what provident fund contributions, investment deductions, like you are paying LIC, paying for LIC premium or professional tax or other any kind of deductions. For that, you are investing that amount that you have to exclude, but you have to add only obligations. Okay, whatever you are, you have to pay in that particular month, whatever EMIs you are, paying whatever rent you are paying you have to add all of that then you will you will get fixed monthly obligation okay then you have to divide it by net monthly salary so whatever you are getting in hand right you have to divide it by that okay net monthly salary so this is how you can calculate fixed obligation to income ratio but how to identify whether it is good or not okay so different banks have different criteria but basically if you understand it by a simple example let's say summation of all existing obligations monthly is 35000 and your net monthly salary is 50000 then what is the ratio 70% right so 70% is the higher fixed obligation to income ratio because 70% of your income monthly income is going towards your existing obligations then bank can get idea that you are not able to repay that amount because 70 percent of your income is going towards existing obligations right and if suppose if a person has a 25 percent fixed obligation to income ratio then in that case bank can get idea that only 25 percent is the existing obligations going towards existing obligations and 75 percent is disposable income that from that he can repay that amount right so this is how bank can get idea of uh, repayment eligibility right this kind of criteria now next do all banks have a standard fixed obligation to income ratio so the answer is no because different banks have different criteria so fixed obligation to income ratio differs from lender to lender financial institutions can provide a different for your right banks can provide different so there are different different criteria and the required for your, for an individual for loan eligibility is ranges from 40 percent to 60 percent like in our example it is 70 percent right but then also some some individual can get loan if his net worth is extremely high okay then also the bank can give loan if he obviously because even if he doesn't have monthly salary that much but he has a net worth good net worth then then also banks can give loans okay and how you can increase fixed obligation to income ratio obviously there is a one good method that you have to take joint loan okay you have to take loan jointly so that your emis will be divided so that your disposable income will increase and your foyer will be decreased okay 